Right, here we have the 4x4 Sprinter off Durham Constabulary, aka the police service. Just arrived in stock, so let's have a look. Nice and solid, no need for any uh, welding, which of course is unusual on these vehicles, or anything that's not a Renault Master. Yeah, really impressed with this. It's got a jail cell in the back. Has got a full service printout with it as well. Reports from our driver that's brought it in 100 miles and it drove very well. That's the only indication at this point, the quality of the vehicle and of course this video. But from my first look here, I'm very impressed. I'm happy we've acquired this vehicle. Bodywork's actually really good. Um, this, notably, which is very trivial, is seemingly uh, the only area of note. So yeah, really impressed with this van. Um, definitely worth a look if you're looking for a four-wheel drive van. It hasn't got the high top, uh, which, is, which isn't ideal, but it is a short wheelbase. It's a nice, nimble van, dual-purpose vehicle, etc. Um, definitely worth a look. Right, pull it down. Nice, nice. Not bad. Didn't seem better. Hmm. Electric, electric mirrors. Air conditioning, which is notable on this vehicle, which I quite like. Um, missing the stereo system. But seat condition, looking good on the driver. Captain seats, of course. They're nice and easy to make it into a walkthrough into the back. So yeah, generally speaking, pretty impressed with the look of this. Um, here we go. Height, width, length, 5.4. Reverse parking sensors fitted. Oh. Should probably do this. Not sure what that was. Trivial, but I mean, it's, it is trivial, but it does exist, so worth noting. I'm in track on the floor. Nice fold away seats, obviously, you can remove these, put them anywhere in the van, pop them on 
is on the dropping rail set. Standing height. Perfect if you're on your knees. Um, so we've got an extraction fan here in the jail cell. These are pretty simple to take out. And to escape from as well. Right, I think um, this concludes this. Um, quick look at the back. Nice, shits nicely. Very clever. We do have an rails going the whole way down. So that's how this is secured in, which makes life a little bit easier. And we've got some tracks in the roof as well. So presumably uh, there's a seal structure behind here. I'm going to give that a 7.6 out of 10. Pretty impressed. Anyone looking for a reason not to buy a Ford Transit? Here it is. So this is the history. Um, which starts in 2012. Take it in, take it in, pause it, etc. Coming down. You know, imagine being in Morocco and you're on 157,000 miles and then EML, excessive soot according to handbook, comes on, whatever. Or even better, you bought one with 53,000 miles and you're stuck in Morocco and the vehicle will not start. That's great. There's, there's much better four-wheel drive vans to get, that's based on my conclusion. But, you know, for the money, I think they're really good life money. This one's a good example if that's what you're looking for. Um, so, yeah, hope you find this useful. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them.